yes so today uh, we are going to discuss one thing that is redux toolkit that uh, i already completed uh, redux uh, redux to redux thunk this thing i hope you all aware of the videos right this whatever the video i have uploaded and also today we are going to uh, create one example that is in the redux toolkit so anyone any idea about the redux toolkit what is that okay so redux toolkit when you create the redux application normally right so you have to create you have to install react redux so instead of that redux toolkit we can say that it's a set of tools that helps to improve the application development okay whenever we going to create and managing our redux stores redux stores are there we can create create some redux actions we can create some reducers so in that way as a redux uh, toolkit you can install on top of that so uh, whatever we are doing in the redux side right like action creator so same thing we are because currently redux create store and con uh, this thing is not recommended i install the react uh, redux those things there i saw that react create react this this thing is not recommended so configure store we have to configure our store the application timing is same but we need to some more configuration in including the redux toolkit so i'm sharing my screen can you please uh, confirm my screen is visible or not my screen is coming right yes yes so you can see this is the official website redux toolkit and the purpose is also given so it's a package intended to be standard way to write redux logic and configuring store is too complicated so it's something it's an enhancement mode you can write your logic very there is no any con complex things the boilerplate they have given you have to just implement your store actions you have to create your data as to be the create slice method so many things are there so this is the official that if you interested in redux toolkit you can go and observe this thing, installation step is there how you have to install the redux toolkit what is that uh, if you have already application is there the tools everything is there application is there so you need to install that react redux js toolkit this in, in, npm install this thing okay so just i'm creating one small demo for that how we can configure and how we can use that redux toolkit from our side this demo is to do list obviously in this to do list i just add some data and just find some data from the to do list okay so first where these things npx create redux app and that is I think Sumon has uh, told right yesterday or last yes, yes. yes. So for this kind of things if we are implemented. So that's why also I added something. There is one difference between the Redux and Redux toolkit. So React and Redux package, where both are used in that React purpose, right? That the difference is that those are non-React related code. They are also implemented. These things they can understood that logic. 
it's very easy there is no any hard and soul thing you have to implement it and at the top of the react js you can add anywhere but i think react uh, the core version react and redux this connector that is main idea of redux right then on top of that we can use so you can see the capital letter i have added so it's not installed Using the TypeScript, we are using this package. We are using TypeScript, and on the top of the TypeScript project, we can use these things. So it takes some time. Just hold some minutes. <clears throat> and also, Redux, Thunk, that uh, apply in this uh, example, I have uploaded in the drive. Anybody else uh, get chance to observe this thing? I have to wait a couple of minutes. So we can do one thing. You can say that uh, how to write your reducers. You can create reducer and create slides. If you're using these things, so reducer and create slides. It will create automatically use the email internally to let your write simply mutable update logic using muting syntax. So the syntax everything is given in your official website. Okay. You can use install your configure your store. You can Create the type parameter interface with the TypeScript. So this is all given in the Redux Toolkit website. Dev tools also they provided Redux Dev tools browser extension. I already saw that, right? Redux Dev tools. How we attach these things? Just a minute, just. Uh, stop my sharing for a minute. Hello, then. Just a minute.
The first comment is that I already added. Next, after installing this thing, we are going to add these three packages. First is React Redux. Second is Redux JS Toolkit. Third is Axios. Axios is for getting the API call, and we are using middleware that is Thunk. And then we have to install these three packages. Next command is we have to go into perform. Yeah. Still is checking something. I think some dependencies is checking internally. <laughs> so inside uh, inside the demo app just a minute yeah the demo app next we have to install these three packages So if I go in the package.json file, you can see that in the dependencies, Redux toolkit, on this TypeScript, Axios, everything is installed. So in my app.tsx, I will create some code and also we have to create these things. First component for whatever component are required and hooks, <coughs> whatever hooks are going to use in the, in the demo and model, data model we have to add. And for the access service, we have to create these things, API and these to do services. That we will create. First, write app.tsx.
after installation you have to write these things dot uh, css and uh, function app return create on to do component to do go in the component and then it to do only to do dot tsx and to do dot cs right on to do We import some dependencies that is use state return what do you And here I will add some label. Enter the to do ID. Enter the ID. We'll write some input on print. That is one event. Type should be number. And we have taken const to do ID ID set to do underscore ID by default use use state okay. <coughs> now export default to the just import to do from or if you no need to import this thing just go here and you can see this button automatically it will be input Okay, no need to write these things. Now we're going to create some model. This is required for data. First, we have to export our interface. I will separate it. Interface to do model. user id that i will add number one id that is also your number title that is also string you completed that is also boolean This is my one model this interface one interface i will create to do model. 
where I'll add my all to do. I'll and equal to do that is to do model. And for the API, just you have to create one reusable API. So create separate file and just import Axios. So default and done. Axios dot create base URL you have to add that is mock API or you can create your own API or for fake API you can also create HTTPS this one please holder dot Report.com. Create the service. Import your API. And you have to input your model. The input letter export default async all to do our response all to have it. API dot dot gate method. API will import from here gate method. I'm used to do return. response dot data that you will get just will write the methods i think to do to do id that be number you have to pass bar your response have it API dot get to do Return. Uh, return. Response dot data dot filter from the model the ID. We have to match the ID and on that basis we have to filter the data. Data dot filter.
to do to define the model to do model to just an input to the model to dot you can see from the model we can get id equal to to do id you have to match and take the first value so this service we have to create so to do x to input these things and now you have to configure the store and create one by one and then i'll go to the view for configure store you have to require import something from that's to it only are we using the store from the redux right the store or create store something and configure store already there configure store you have to import these things and com store i'm defining my store is equal to configure your store and just pass the reducer to do and for reducer we have to create that slice and the data slice we have to require you have to create the slice to create slice method whatever the data is there it has to you can create the slice and slice of data and this data we have to using a redux toolkit so two packages we have to import for that put something from at the rate of redux toolkit create slice and reload action we have to configure our initial store to get here that is to do array model is equal to all to do by default is empty and particular to do that we have created well yes from that interface the particular to do what i'll put user id zero particular currently id initially is zero title completed
and we have to require to do model both have to input two models are required so this is my initial to do step this is my init to do step okay and create our slice comes to do slice is equal to create slice method is already there we we'll just pass and pass the name that should be up to date initial state that is your init to do state you have to pass and now reducers it to do it action Action you can here at load action and add our model. The method is our eight dot all to do is equal to action dot payload so to do i will set here from my payload so this is one method from the reducer one method set particular to do as the state by your action action we need to pass payload action here and that is i will pass my model to do model these two methods i have done inside the reducer for the one is for all to do's other is for particular to do it dot particular to do is equal to same action dot payload your to do slice method is created so you can create multiple slice the name is the identifier export default to do slice This is your to do slice. Go to the index. And to do slice. Dot reducer. Sorry, slice not understood. Just go here. You can see the input automatically. It will input. No need to write to do slice dot reducer. So. My store object is created. Now I have to define our state and dispatch. 
type root state equal to return type type of your store dot get state dot get state this method it export type app dispatch is equal to type of store dot dispatch and then export default or store so we can create an export this is my store this is my store object to configure store earlier when i create normal store create store method right it's the abstraction friendly abstraction over at the redux create store you just Add the configure store and add your reducer. And from the slice, you can create the slice and add reducer over here. Everything is there, just you have to place your requirement to the slice method. Now create action. Two methods. First is fetch the data. Export const fetch to do this method I will create and that is export const fetch particular to do this method i will create after that let's see i'll do something return first return Passing function. So argument passes this patch, comma, it state. Now oh, I have to pass that our TypeScript and uh, that is called the parameters and that should be from the thunk action. I will input its thunk action. So, add import all are coming from this redux we not need to create any thang create file nothing with the thang action and pass your data type first argument what is still for the thang action a callable call it callback function that can be dispatched to the reader the four argument are needed right we'll see yes return type state 
and that can be extendable method and so first I'll generic type require four type argument first void root state root state That is coming from the index root state. This method I have part right. Extend dot to do dot all to do Length so length is zero, then we can only create the response. Response that would be a to do model. Let's try. To do model have it to do That I have to input to do service. Put to do service from this. Mac dispatch dispatch 
one action, right? So create all to do actions that is coming from my slides to do slice dot actions. Import your to do slice. This one. To do slice from. Pass your action pass to your to do action dot set to do this method right so or you can write to do slice dot action anything dot says to do and set your response here or fetch the data fetch the API data to middle error. simple you have to just Copy this line. And particular to do ID, I have to write. So to do ID. And that's for ID. That should be your number. And you have to just copy this thing, copy and this thing. Pass. This is your return. This return you have to add. No need to any if else because particular ID you have to take in. What will write? Get particular ID, right? Get particular ID and pass the to do ID. To do ID this number. I'll pass. So to do action, two methods I've created, create particular ID. That is particular ID method now our hooks are required go to the hook and redux hooks I will create state data store is completed now 
first have to import type that should be your root state and app dispatch I will write a letter. First export on use app dispatch. Use its patch. And you have to provide your app dispatch. And export on use app selector. Type use letter hooks that is inputted from Redux and React and pass your root state. Just pass to set over here. Physical to API is done, service is already done, store is done. Only you have to write that to do X, this logic, and also index.ts. So index.ts I write, just render the application, nothing. Is there? Let's import our React Put React DOM React DOM. Put wrap app to just input to do. Then you have to input your store basically from. dot slash store then you need one provider that is common import from react it up Dom dot render react dot strict mode if you want or your here you have to add the provider.
here. No. They have got strict mode. Oh, God. Yes. And we need the provider. The, the provider. We just got it. Provider requires some store. Store requires the data. I will pass the data to my store. Export the file. Uh, yeah. This page is done. Now only view. We'll create the two graphs. This file. I have to create one const dispatch physical to my use app dispatch that is coming from hook on all to do physical to Use app selector. Here we on state. State dot to do all to do to do. To do. Not all the rules. Mm -hmm. 
particular to do that is your use of selector just use this thing selector and state less of your state dot to do dot particular to do event is required that I'll write const click and then that's dispatch. Which to do. Input from the action. One method that is search, search the particular ID. Just make dispatch. Which particular to do and pass that to ID. And one method that is check to do, check to do. To do length, you know, return false. Or return. Method which is particular to do. Once keep particular to do is equal to Boolean. Just write a particular to do. That is got it dot id got it zero return false or return is equal on return true return true Anything is missing one minute. No. So this method we are adding. Also, the program now just add two, three times more.
on to given right to do it percent even dot target dot hello Take one button. That is such. On click. Section right? Section right? Click on deep. Which one? Why to do? And just check your ID, particular to do, and then class name to do container. Some Peter particular to do dot ID if I want to print the key particular to do. Right. Oh, name I want to search. Oh, one minute. Copy. Not the title. I want to search two. This is third. Only this particular ID is coming. So forget all things. Pretty good. Just Button. Hold to do. Hold on. Click. Pass. Click handle. Mm 
Check to do same thing. Just all to do the all to do dot map. To do just print one div. Last name list e is equal to to do id to do dot id p to do dot to do dot id same same just particular p to do dot title or take one key that is to do dot completed we'll add these things all to do is coming the data that is from your API this API to do To do something has correct. Yes, this is the API. You can go JSON placeholder or create some API. You will host. You can create these things all, and if I will search number five to do. Five number to crystal. Okay. Is there any questions? Uh, Kushik, uh, uh, in, uh, why we are using use app selector or well, we, are, we are create custom hook? To do action, right? Yes. No, no, uh, hook, 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 hook. Yes, that is right. That so is what is, this is that you can see the type use selector hooks. Right? Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. That is the interface that you create your custom hooks that your root state ke liye one hook is required. Na? Use hmm. app selector. So that's why I'm creating this state. Okay. So this I have used here in my to do X, right? This yes, file. yes, yes. Top of the. And yes. So you can see that all to do's. Na? So use hmm. app selectors earlier, whatever we do. Uh, we have to use that use state hooks or use yes, 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 yes. That's why so, I asked you. Uh, so this is a use app selector hook we have created. Through that, this model already is there. You, I just inter uh, uh, just use this type use selector hooks interface. Okay. Okay. And pass the pass the data. And it's also coming from React Redux. You can have this thing. Okay. 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 Data. So here for getting the uh, two things are there. All and individual right all hmm. to do individual to do hmm. that i am going to edit well and create your models and this thing okay i hope it's, you all understood this is very easy i mean if you compare these things with that uh, your custom react redux con yes, uh, yes. this is very helpful you know you just configure your store and you slice means multiple slice you can create okay in your to do slice now Mm -hmm. You can create multiple slides, but name is the identifier. Name to do. Yes. You, with that, you can create slides and add your data. So in the reducer, you can say that we don't need to add reducer, switch function, nothing. I'm created right. Mm -hmm. I have just create to do action and this payload. Okay. I think it will be helpful. It means that session and this will you can understand the React Redux one, all the things. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you.
Bye.